Richie, probably the biggest market in the gun world has been the single stack or small compact 9mm. Uh, people are buying up these small guns like crazy in the last few years. And uh, I'm going to go over a little bit of uh, the guns out there, uh, what I like about them, why I have these particular ones. And there's others, believe me, and they're just, probably just as good, but these are the ones I have. And maybe help you guide you towards a decision. It's not really a compare. I'm going to show you the pros of each and the role it fits because they actually all do fit a specific role, and that's the truth. Um, concealed carry has gone up, and probably I think the most selling firearms out there are these small guns. And let's start with the car. Believe it or not, car has been. That's what put them on a the map. Was uh, is their PM9 really? Uh, they, they had the, I think the MKs out for a long time too, but when they came out, with the, they kind of put them on the map for one of the, the smallest 9mm, 9mm out there for a long time. The only downside that I got was the price. They were very expensive. I'm talking 700 bucks. I even seen them as high as 8 and that's a little pricey. And then they came out with the whole CM. This is the car CM9 and kind of resurgence in this particular firearm started happening. And this is a great, great, all firearms on loaders. So I ain't going to put my finger on the trigger during this video, guys. Uh, it became real popular again, this whole CM, because they're affordable. Talking 370, 375. Uh, nice. And uh, a beautiful gun. Very reliable. Uh, great trigger. One, that's one thing they always have is a nice trigger. Uh, nice, smooth Real smooth trigger. I, I, I have to admit, these are really nice triggers. They really are. And what's great about these guns, They are they a little snappy? Yeah, they are. It's just real small 9mm. But these conceal so well. And this can be concealed pocket carry too. So you can carry this in numerous ways because it is ultra, ultra small. And uh, great, great firearm. Highly recommend this. Uh, it has a nice little market in there, and I uh, really like this firearm overall. It's one of my. It's a very, very good carry firearm for, for concealability. Uh, one of the best at, in nine millimeter. Then years ago, Ruger came out with the LC9, which was one of their biggest selling firearms for a while. And the good thing, uh, one of the things that they did was they put a safety. So it was able to sell in a lot of states without any problems. And a lot of people just like safeties. And this safety is done right, believe it or not. It's easy if you're having a uh, uh, safe position, if you draw to swipe this down and go back to red, red, you're dead. Um, great light firearm full of safeties. Some people like safeties, loaded chamber indicated, magazine disconnect. Um, really small, feels great in the hand. This is still one of the, for some reason I love the way this feels in my hand, one of my favorites. Uh, and it's a really, really great, great pocket. You can pocket this, but a really great concealable 9mm. Um, this is a, a great firearm. Uh, some things people didn't like was the trigger, and I will admit, it is a long, heavy trigger. Not the best. You really have to work and train on this trigger. Um, but reliability, right up there with uh, everything else, the cars and the shields and all that. But this was a really big seller for uh, Ruger for a while when it first came out. Being that it was very affordable. Again, talking in the, like 350 range. And uh, just a good shooting gun. It really is. Not too bad. It's a little snappy, but uh, LC9 still a very popular gun out there still a lot of people love the safeties and if that's your thing this is the gun for you okay now let's go to the Glock it's probably uh, one of the longest running most popular nine millimeters out there for a long time uh, good thing uh, good things about this was you know it is small it's a little blocky not nearly as uh, uh, thin as the car and the Ruger 
but uh, you can conceal it with a nice holster. Uh, but where this thing, you know, was the king for a while, I had 10 plus, you know, 10 rounds. You can fit any, you can fit a 19 round, uh, 19 Glock 19 mag in here, 17. And it was just a, a, the, the baby Glock, you know, it was just a really popular, popular gun for a long time and still is. And for nine millimeter carry, this is probably still for some people, the only one they will carry. They just love it. And it, it, again, it's a Glock, you know, bang every time. Super great reputation. Um, and uh, just a great all around 9mm, really is. Uh, you can't conceal this. Uh, again, it's the, the, big, the biggest of the bunch when I'm talking about width. And that's really the ultimate with concealing and weight. And then the last couple years, Springfield XDS and the Shield came out. And they hit home runs with those guns. Yeah, they had a recall, but a lot of guns do, so don't get bent out of shape over that. But the shield is something I wanted. I waited for a while, like you've seen in my vid. Um, it was, it's still hot. Still, some stores have trouble getting these in. When we can seal carry uh, growing numbers all the time, this has become a great, great seller for Smith & Wesson. It really has been. Um, Everything about this gun sh screams, uh, you know, great, great shooting 9mm, handles the recoil well, uh, better than the car, better than the Ruger for recoil wise, and it's ergonomically just a great design, it really is. Now, is there a difference between these, like family wise? I would say yeah, and I hope you understand, I'm not putting any one of these down because I own them and they've all been reliable for me, but these are all my. Go to the range, fire 50 rounds through both of these. Make sure everything's working. And if I want something real small to carry that day as a 9mm, especially in Florida and stuff, easy to conceal. Uh, these, these are great. These are, I would consider these in, in a different class. I really would. They're a little bigger, a little heavier. But these are, I would consider these fighting pocket nines or f not pocket sorry don't want to use that term these are fighting nine millimeters small nine millimeters what i mean by fighting i will take a class with these no problem and for a longest i think the only true fighting nine millimeter out there where i would feel comfortable running the class putting several hundred rounds through and not having to worry and being easy to shoot and not at the end of the day my my hand taking the beating this is this was king probably still is and then came along the Springfield XDS and the Shield. And I have no problem taking a class, running several hundred rounds through this in a class, shooting this all day, and not worrying about taking a beating on my hand or getting any type of fatigue shooting this. These are fighting. Glock and the Shield are your fighting small 9mm. Really, really great, great firearms. So. That's it, guys. Richie, Bullets and Broadheads. These are some of the best out there. But they do have a different role and a different purpose out there, guys. So that's how I judge how I use my guns and how I buy them, you know. These are a great, you know, super light. Just put it on and forget about it. And you can do the same with these. But these are really go-to guns if you need something to you know you're going to be in arm's way and you know that you need something small but re ultra reliable that is like a, a serious serious um carry weapon you know not putting these down these have their own purpose every firearm that is out there has their own purpose and role to fill but that's how i consider these these are like my fighting small nine millimeters and these are my light uh carry you know shorts and summer hot and uh, that's how I do it guys and all great firearms so Richie bullets and broadheads over and out